Hi, Leo. Welcome to your general forecast for the month of April. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Leo, we're going to take a look at the energies around you at this time. We're going to take them as they come. So it could be about anything here. We could get love. We could get work, career, finance. Um, any sort of situation that comes out, that's what we'll read. So thank you, everybody. Hope everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's doing well. During this time, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, male or female watching. It could be past, present, or future. Please keep that in mind. If it's not resonating for you, please don't try to make it fit. Then it's not your reading. And don't let, leave me a ton of comments how uh, it's all wrong and blah, blah, blah. So I will just delete those. Uh, please wait for the next readings or check the description box below to go back and watch past readings. I do consider them timeless. Um, so please only take it how it resonates for you. Leo. All right. So let's see what's going on for Leo. And you can also find down below in the description box in the pin top comment how to reach out for personal reading if you would like to, the decks I'm using, and links to purchase them if you wish to purchase them for yourself, social media links. And if you'd like to tip, donate, or send a gift, all that info is below as well as in the top comment. And if you're not comfortable using PayPal for tips, donations, energy exchanges during the premiere only, Super Chat is open and available for tips, donations, and energy exchanges. And if you do, thank you. Okay, Leo. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. And we'll see what comes out for you. If you don't resonate with this part, totally fine. So what do we have for Leo at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. Messages most needed for Leo. Sign, element, or planets. We have Capricorn, and I just did Capricorn. Wow. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm just curious what the next card was because I usually don't really like to take cards that have come out in the previous reading. But So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, you could have it in your chart, know somebody in there, have it in their chart. It could be a friend, family, coworker, if you're still working or something like that. But Capricorn in the tarot does represent the devil, which can talk about fears, um, obsessions, addictions, um, some sort of negative energy. It doesn't have to be really that bad or it could be something minor, but we'll see if that means anything. So Capricorn there is 10, which is about a completion of something. And then you always have one, which is a new beginning. Leo, you're five. Five is about change. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going on here with you, Leo. So first thing I'm going to do here, Leo, is get an opening message for you. Then I'll pull another one to see what um, your energy, what's going on with you. We'll clarify that with the tarot. Then we'll look at your actual situation, whatever it is, whatever comes out here, advice, the situation possible outcome we'll go over the bottom of the decks and then with this deck here with the work your light we'll get some extra messages at the end all right so what is the opening message for leo spirit please thank you so much opening oh i got two i don't want two i just want one opening message for leo spirit. there we go so we have here the eyes of beauty, positive expectations and clarity. And we do have seven there. Seven is about a very divinely guided spiritual energy. So you could be, you know, just seeing things in a very positive light. You could be seeing, because uh, it looks like she's almost wearing like a veil. So you could be seeing something, but through like veiled eyes, like seeing something in a way that maybe it is not really being um, presented to you. Because a Capricorn can talk about the devil is about some sort of toxic energy or something like that. So you may be seeing something that's toxic with like veiled eyes and just, you know, having like a positive energy about it, you know, just thinking about it in a positive way when really maybe it's not. Or... Um, expecting positive expectations but there may not be but some sort of clarity will be coming here because the seven in tarot can talk about uh, being defensive on guard it could talk about um, confusion options decisions deceitful energy lies um, and kind of just waiting so hmm, leo what's going on let's see why this is here 
Or if you're in a situation now where you feel like it's just toxic or something like that, maybe this is telling you to be in a more positive mindset, more positive mindset, but some sort of clarity may be coming here with that uh, clarity there. Oh, I have another card upside down there. All right, I'm going to just shuffle because I got that in a previous reading, so there was two there. Okay, let's take that one. So we have the Diamond Dreamer, and I just saw this when I was pre-shuffling here. And we have Material wealth, wealth and True Prosperity. And we have six there, which is about healing and balance. So this could have to do about uh, material things, material wealth and prosperity, dreaming. So maybe in a space right now where you feel like, especially with the Capricorn Devil energy, where you feel like you're not in a good place, Maybe you're having monetary lack. Um, maybe just feeling in like a very um, low self-esteem or having fear about your um, financial situation here. But it's telling you here to, I think spirit seven is all, all about spiritual energy and be divinely guided. So maybe spirit wants you to know to be positive. You will gain clarity soon that you will have material wealth and true prosperity coming into you. To be that diamond dreamer, that balance and healing will be coming to you. Wow, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Light, illumination, enlightenment, and celebration. So, and we have 15 again, which is six, double clarity of balance and healing. And the Queen of Light, so getting your illumination, enlightenment, and clarity, and then having being in a celebratory kind of energy. So something will be coming to you, like you'll be seeing the light in some way and you'll be gaining that clarity and it could be through spiritual energy, through uh, being divinely connected in some way or somebody shedding light on a situation or the universe shedding light on a situation for you that illuminates and illum um, enlightens for you and getting your healing and balanced energy and then being in a celebratory kind of energy, Leo. So whatever negative mind space you're in now, and that could be that Capricorn energy, I think you have positive things coming your way and clarity will be shown to you in some way, shape or form. So let's see what's going on. You have material wealth and true prosperity. You may be dreaming of that, maybe dreaming of that, but I feel like it's coming. Not to give up that dream either maybe seeing it through a veil like okay it's never going to come to me I'm never going to get there I'm never going to get it receive it but it's saying here that true prosperity and material wealth is on its way so let's see this is the before tarot so that may be a reason why I'm using this because this could be before this comes to you all right, so what's going on for Leo? Why is this energy here for Leo? Well, the Wheel of Fortune. So there's fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction, things going in your favor, and that is fortune. And we got material wealth of true prosperity. So fortune is coming your way. <laughs> wow, here is the universe shedding that light for you. So if this is the, the clarity you need or the enlightenment, illum illumination that you need, here is the divine wheel of fortune coming in with fate and destiny for you. Wow. Okay. Fortune coming your way, Leo. That's way too many. But I did see the eight of pentacles energy here. So you are working hard on something here. Something you're working hard on and you're waiting. You're waiting for that prosperity and wealth to come in. But you may not be seeing it yet may not be seeing it yet and you're like you know what I don't think it's ever going to come all right what else for Leo it's like you're praying for it seven of wands energy you're praying for it you're praying for it to come in here you want to stand out and fight for it but before you do it's like you're praying for this to come in and there wow ace of pentacles so there it is. It's being handed to you, but it's not quite been handed off yet. So it's almost there. It's almost ready to be handed for you, for you to take it alone in your grasp, but it's not quite there yet. So there may be a little more work you need to do 
here. Maybe spirit wants you to know whatever you're doing, you need to do a little more work at what you're doing, either to master this craft so you can stand up and fight for it. But it's divinely guided for you, this brand new beginning. Something very stable, grounded for the long term. Be very successful, abundant, prosperous. And there's that wealth and prosperity. And then the lovers. So this could be, you know, making a conscious choice here. The lovers can be about choices. It can be about what's totally meant and aligned for you. Like this is like soulmate energy, but whatever you're being aligned, whatever you're working on or doing is totally aligned for you and what you're meant to do. And it's like your soul mission, your soul purpose. There's the sun energy right there. The angel bringing into you what is meant for you. It's like being handed to you, but yet not quite, quite yet grabbing it yet, taking it yet, but it will be handed to you. Judgment. So this is judgment call. Again, the angels here bringing in what is divinely guided for you, especially with the wheel. But they're not ready to blow the horn yet to totally give you what is coming your way. For some reason, you need to keep working just a little bit more at whatever you're doing here. And maybe you need to work through some fears, um, maybe low self-esteem or something like that. It's like you're almost there, but not quite yet. So when the time is right, they will totally hand off this pentacle to you. As you see that he's handing his hand to her, but she's not taking it yet. So it's not time yet. But the horn will blow when it's the right time. And all this will be divinely guided and gifted and handed to you. And you'll see like a surge, a resurrection, a surge of success here when the time is right. The universe is making the judgment call on when the right time is for you. So then they got the horn ready, but they're not quite blowing it and they're not quite handing it off fully yet. So it's not quite time yet, but it is coming. You just need to work a little more for some reason. So let's get the actual situation. Wow. So we have the ace of swords, which to me, when I get the ace, the king or the queen, and now we have the king here is shedding truth, light, clarity on a situation from the universe. So this is definitely the universe here shedding truth and clarity as with the queen of light, king or queen doesn't matter. So we have all energies here of the king and the queen shedding light and truth on this situation for you. That the crown will be yours here soon, but it's still not quite time yet for the successful new beginning, a brand new beginning. So you will be getting that truth of clarity. You will have your prosperous, victorious, new beginning energy here. And as you see, sword is not completely handed off here, uh, there yet either. So it's like the universe handing the sword here to your, like your spirit team, your guides, your angels to tell you exactly when the right time and to hand this to you when the time is right. So it's like your spirit team and angel team here is being divinely guided by the universe to let you know when the right time and that's that queen of light energy king or queen doesn't matter like and then under that we have the ice queen so things are on a pause right now because it's still not the right time so the right time is coming all right so what else here for your actual situation here for leo the emperor so you will be the emperor or empress that you want to be here own you know owning your own business or being an entrepreneur or being a boss or being somebody higher than what you are now that is coming for you the emperor empress energy here doesn't matter male or female and it's right in the middle of your spread so you will be sitting in that throne shortly see he's not sitting yet he's standing six of swords so you'll be going to a much better place and there are six again to peace, harmony, and balance. So getting in that boat and it's not taking sail yet, heading to a better place. So the better place is coming, but it's not quite time yet. To peace, harmony, balance. All right, what else here? Yep, two of wands. So being at a crossroads and needing to make plans, decisions for the future. 
So now he's got the world in his hands. So you will have the world in your hands. Whatever the world is for you, whatever your world is meant to be, you will have it in your hands. But it's not quite time yet. Almost there, but not quite to this material wealth, true prosperity. So what else do we have for Leo? What is the advice for Leo? The moon. So, you know, you may not be seeing the path clearly right now. Again, there's that fear. It could be fear, um, energy, feeling very emotional. Um, could, you know, I'm not getting like secrets or anything like that. I'm like very fearful because you don't see the path cle clearly in the moonlight. Feeling very emotional, like not sure what's going to happen. What, you know, is this going to be worth it? Should I keep going? And there's the king of wands, king or queen, doesn't matter, that's your energy. So it's that fiery, passionate, go-getter energy. Now he's sitting in the throne, but he doesn't have his wand in his hand. So, you know, you're in the throne, you're almost in the throne. Once you get the wand in your hand, then that's like your, the new beginning for you. So here's a page of swords, which is truthful, honest communication, doing something online maybe for some of you. You could be starting your own online business. You could be learning something new online or something like that. But yet you still have this fear of being rejected and left out in the cold, abandoned, like maybe this isn't going to work. And you have energy because you have nighttime energy here and the moon here. So I think you have fear. This isn't going to work. I may be rejected. What if, you know, this doesn't work for me? But the Page of Swords, again, can be about truth and clarity. will be coming into you, like looking up at the sky, waiting for that, you know, light to come down of clarity so that you can take this one and start on this new venture. So I think that's your advice, that you will be saving some sort of communication, whether it's through the spirit realm or some kind of news coming in or very honest communication about this new endeavor you're about to go on and being handed that wand of growth, prosperity, of creativity, um, passionate, fiery new beginning. It is coming. So that truth clarity is coming. But I think you still have fear and worry here. Yep, see, look at that, wow. What is the outcome, possible outcome? We have the Ace of Cups. So this is divinely guided, brand new beginning, feeling um, at peace, harmony, compassionate energy, full of love and emotions, divinely guided, something divinely guided for you, and to totally in love with what you're doing. You know, emotional, feeling, you know, overflowing with joy, happiness, fulfillment. There's your growth of something new with the fish expanding out, outward. All right, so it's not trapped in the cup. He's about to leap out into the world. So your creation is about to leap out into the world, I feel. All right, what else for the possible outcome here? I'm getting the initials M or W or E. Okay. All right, so what else here? Wow, so we have the Four of Pentacles energy. So that's about holding back, but holding on, holding back, um, hanging on to your stability, what you have for now, not really giving or taking. But then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is total growth, abundance, prosperity for your future, for the long term, being very abundant and never having to worry about finances or material things. Right now, you may be scrimping and saving, but this divinely guided brand new beginning that's coming for you, that's going to bring you so much happiness, will give you so much prosperity that you'll never have to worry. And that Ace of Cups, I feel like, is that divine light coming down for you. Something being handed to you or news coming in or something here. And then everything, just shining the light on everything. And there's the news again with the Page of Cups, with the fish in the cup, in the bird here for the news coming in. Pages communication. So some kind of good news communication may come in here about this, which will give you the enlightenment that you need that will drive this forward. 
and and it and enable you to get in this chariot and move forward very successfully with balance drive ambition driving this forward and being successful and being you know getting attention and uh, being victorious and getting the accolades that you're looking for people seeing your value your worth knowing your value and your worth birth of something new again with the bird there for communication having growth wealth abundance there's a devil energy i was talking about um here so that's coming up here so that's confirming that eight of cups is about walking away so you may be you know drinking from your own cup of fear and uh insecurities in that but i feel like you'll be walking away from that energy is putting in the investments and waiting waiting to manifest this brand new beginning forward listening to your gut your intuition your higher knowing maybe keeping to yourself and not saying much but here comes the enlightenment for you with the tower energy of some kind. Could be getting communication from someone from the past or um, somebody you knew from a long time ago. Or this could be, um, you know, spiritual communication coming in for you also. All right. So we have here Aries. We have Pisces. We have Gemini Virgo. We have Capricorn. We have Libra Taurus, we have Cancer, let's see, we have Sagittarius energy, we have Scorpio, Gemini, let's see here, King of Wands is Sagittarius again, Aries, King of Swords is Gemini. So those are the other signs that I see, so if that means anything to anybody. So I feel like your day will come, Leo. Your day will come. All right, Leo. That's the message I just got. Your day will come. All right, Leo, Leo, Leo. Let's get some extra messages for you with this deck, Leo. What else does Leo need to know at this time? Spirit, please, thank you so much. What else does Leo need to know? Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. So again, this is believing in yourself, investing in yourself, believing in who you are, um, believing, you know, in what your mission, your purpose is also, and being divinely guided and devoted to that mission. All right, what else for you, Leo? Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And I just had said that. So this is listening to your soul mission and purpose and answering that call. Your day will come here, Leo. Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. And I just said that too. This is a divinely guided path that is meant for you, that was written in the stars for you before you even came on this planet. And we have here, Anna, grandmother of Jesus, send, seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. And here's the queen of light. Wow. So this has been a divine plan for you laying the foundation, seeding the light. So somebody will be sending you the light here. It could be divinely guided spiritual energy or somebody named Anna, maybe, or somebody who is like a uh, wise figure also, male or female. Wow. Okay, Leo. Well, uh, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.